So, uh, after being uh, requested uh, a lot of times to make a suitlet hero guide uh, for uh, war main, I finally decided to make one. So in this video I will go through my talents, uh, through my glyphs, items, uh, enchants, games, uh, macros and addons, which are uh, which are the actually I've tested a lot in this uh, server and uh, I think my uh, talents, glyphs and uh, items and chants are the best uh, you can use for subnet hero uh, in arena in this server. Uh, so let's start off by by my talents. So I have a pretty basic uh, talent uh, for uh, Arena Rogue. Uh, the only difference is uh, I didn't put uh, 3 points on Home Roam Octaves, I put uh, 2 points on Heightened Senses. So, <coughs> uh, for Heightened Senses I think it's pretty decent uh, talent, but actually I put it because I played some mirror games against uh, Shadow Priest Stroke and I wanted to find the Rogue so we can win easier which uh, actually it doesn't increase uh, stealth detection like a lot but uh, it, it's pretty decent but if it's uh, for uh, rushing quarter and uh, tools there are not much rogues here good rogues and you can actually use honor among this so the other talents uh, you can copy here it's pretty basic arena rogue talents on combat i have the a must talent which is improved couch on 3 and on assassination I have uh, improved the rate on 3, malice on 2, ruthlessness and uh, puncturing wounds on 3 which are must and uh, vigor on 1. So let's see my, my glyph. Glyph of vigor which uh, is actually changeable but uh, I actually use uh, glyph of sprint in other servers but uh, here it doesn't work. Glyph Sprint increases your uh, speed while in sprint by 30% uh, more so you are like uh, on mount when you are sprinting but uh, here it doesn't work. Uh, glyph Preparation is a must and uh, Glyph of Shadow Dance is a must so these two you must use and this is replaceable by uh, like uh, Glyph of Quark of Shadows is uh, useful sometimes uh, and yeah. Glyph, glyph of Vanish for Minor Cliff. I don't think this is working either, but uh, I'm not really sure. Yeah, it's not working. What is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, these are the glyphs. So, um, I'll go through my items. So, about items, I'm using uh, 5 from 5, a full Ratu main set, and almost two PV offset uh, rings, uh, weapons PV and only my back is PV as well as my uh, main set so now first uh, let's talk about gaming <coughs> my gaming is uh, full attack power which is uh, actually some some rogues things think uh, armor penetration is, is better but no trust me on that armor penetration it's it's good like against warriors, dead knights and paladins, but uh, you can you actually need 33% armor penetration. 33% I have 37 almost because of my uh, weapon I'm sometimes sometimes using uh, this one which gives me now I'm 33 here and from this talent here I'm getting uh, uh, I'm getting more. So this is this is the armor penetration which you will need. So you don't gain armor penetration, you gain attack power. Full attack power, which uh, increases uh, your damage uh, against everything, not armor penetration, which increases against damage uh, against warriors and platers. And yeah, attack power is better because sometimes uh, in arena mages, mages, when I uh, when a shadow step uh, ambush them, they just take like uh, 8k hits and with the armor penetration you cannot do that so gaming is uh, full uh, attack power for uh, metagame I'm using the stun duration because uh, there are there is a lot of stunning in arena let's let's be honest not the crit damage increase and uh, I'm using uh, for the chest I'm using 20 attack power 10 resonance because uh, the the actual 
let me show you the actual uh, socket bonus is uh, really useful here it's six more retalents and here I'm using uh, 20 attack power 10 retalents so, so my my meta can can be activated in other uh, here I'm using 10 to all stats uh, just I don't know why you can put uh, here whatever you want but I prefer this one <coughs> Uh, for uh, for enchants, uh, other things are uh, attack power, just it's full attack power. For enchants, uh, for hands, uh, I I'm using the engineering uh, rocket, which is really really useful. It's, it hits a lot and it's low cooldown. Waste, uh, I'm using the cover track bomb, which doesn't uh, it's useless in arena, but uh, it doesn't remove any other enchants on the waste. Lex uh, 75 uh, attack power, which is the best. Uh, now for feet, feet you can actually use uh, the engineering uh, nitro boots, which are not usable in arena, but they give 24 crit. But for a rogue, for a subtlety rogue, you don't want crit. You don't want to have crit. You have enough only from your set and your right items give you enough uh, crit. So I prefer using the 20, uh, 32 attack power or the minor speed increase in jump. So for fingers, I have uh, I have those fingers which are best in sword, both of them. Medal of the Court is a must. Uh, Sharpen Twilight scale is best in sword. Uh, now for throne. Throne, uh, you can actually use a PvE throne with a game on it, but this Ratful Gladiator War Edge, this is Ratful uh, Throne, uh, has the highest um, deadly throws. It has the highest damage on, on Throne, uh, so that's why I'm using it. Weapons, Titanium Weapon Chain on uh, offhand is a must, and uh, Berserking on main hand. You can actually switch that to whatever you want, but Berserking is the best. <coughs> Wrist, chest, 10 to all stats, not uh, 20 as I want because I prefer 10 to all stats actually. Uh, the pack, now the pack. Pack is from uh, engineering, like Swift so Underlay. It gives you 23 agility, which is a lot for a rogue, uh, for a pack enchant. Shoulder, uh, here again, shoulder and head and chance. You don't want the 40 attack power and uh, 50 crit, uh, 15 crit, and here 20 crit, uh, which are the PV uh, uh, enchants. <coughs> you want the resilience ones, and attack power on them, and that's all for my items. I'm running uh, this amount of resilience at the moment, but uh, when I'm playing with uh, one more DPS, I'm putting this offhand, a uh, rack offhand, and I'm running this resilience, which is not like a lot more but it's better so this is for my items you can you can test here you can try putting like uh, with uh, double dps like with um, a red tree power you can actually game every <coughs> every yellow game to be 20 attack power 10 resilience which actually uh, give you the socket bonuses on some items like here and here and this is for my talents now let's talk about my macros now so for a subtlety rogue for arena you will have to use a lot of uh, macros because uh, it's like let's be honest rogue is one of the most hardest uh, arena class and you need a lot of focus to play it focus macros and a lot of um, practice with it so let's start this is, uh, Focus point macro, pretty simple. Focus gauge macro, focus kick, only focus. Uh, focus up macro, focus shift macro. Now this one, this is um, focus shadow step, focus up macro. So this one is uh, actually really useful. Most strokes don't use it, but uh, I prefer you try it out. The next one is uh, shadow step, focus shadow step kick. Uh, when someone is like healing, uh, you 
want to stop some polymorph you just click that twice and stop the cast now here uh, focus dots it's actually uh, it's actually not focus you you put some target here like your par partner I had Homer J and partner I don't know why but let's say I'm playing with uh, capsize right now and when you click that macro it will give your target which you type here uh, tricks of the trade and your macro is uh, for rogue v rogue stealth finding let's say you want to find a rogue and uh, this macro is here you want to find a rogue in arena and uh, you just run around but you don't want to click it when you see him you don't want to click him so you spam that macro which is i'll show you again clear target target enemy player casts up which actually clears the target if you have target like let's say this one when i click it clears it and targets new new target but uh, it's only enemy player target and if you see a rogue around you and spamming that macro you will sub him so these are my macros experiment with those and let's get on with the add-ons so for add-ons i'm using i don't know why i'm using a twas root with i'm not playing pv warrior system must the air tracker you want to use the gear tracker I can show you this thing here is the DR it actually shows you uh, when like uh, on one DR are like priest fear psychic screen and uh, blind and if you have this icon here after your priest fear your blind will be 5 seconds not 10 you want that to fade out that thing you see in, a, in arena and then you wanna use blind so it's full blind for trinket, uh, trinket display you want big icon not name icon because it shows you here you want a big icon show you there and that's for gadgets boost control on CC you must know those two they are a must <coughs> recount I don't know why sound alert but this add on here makes me actually play better there than normal it actually tells you you, you need this add on you should try it <coughs> it actually tells you when someone is using something that's what configuration let's say you're doing a paladin and he and uh, the paladin bubbles so this would only actually tell you say to you in game like uh, it will say divine shield or let's say rogue vanishes it will sell, say vanish and yeah that's really useful for for some for uh, faster reactions so this these are my add-ons and this is uh, everything you should know about uh, war main uh, war main rogue uh, i hope i helped which i hope i hope i helped you uh, you can experiment with everything for me i think this is the best uh, the best talents glyphs items and everything i've shown I've experimented a lot, but I think this, these are the best. So, if you, if you have any questions, feel free to whisper me or just type something in the comments. And good luck with the uh, Sutlety Rogue and see you in game.